Yo. Ah. Uh. What is up guys? This is Yvonne here and welcome back to this channel if you guys remember. Well, today I have a really exciting topic to show you guys. If you want to follow along how I've been through for the past month dealing with this Y show project, just keep on watching and I will show you how I come up with my design and how the design goes, how the process is, what is the show and how the final looks like. If you're interested of this Y show, of this world known Y show, keep on watching, follow my step. I'm going to talk English in this whole video just for me practice whatever speaking and let's go okay some of you may wonder what is the Y show well the Y show is like every freshman year for the first year students here in CSM they have to do a show that's made of completely white it's called the white project officially you have to use the fabric that school provided and come up with an entire outfit by yourself fully sewing, researching, designing, and cutting by yourself a full outfit. It's, I'm not talking just a jacket or just a pants, I'm talking about the entire outfit. You could make one piece but it has to be like an entire clothes. So there are a few different kinds of fabric that the school provides with different weight so there's something like a shirt Project, shirt fabric and there's a jersey and there's something suede medium and heavy weight for making jackets or whatever also there are three topics you could choose first one is artifacts and the second one is borderline and the third one is 24 hour chronicle so basically what you're gonna do is choose one of the topic and then research about it design a whole outfit and then choose your favorite design and then make it into real life using the school provided but everything has to be white i mean not just a white something you have to make entire thing in white let's get into the research part so for the research i choose the topic borderline because i i am a city girl in my entire life I lived in Beijing, lived in London, lived in New York. Those were like major cities and skyscrapers were surrounded by me all the time. And what my favorite type of clothing is cargo wears, work wears, cargo trousers, big heavy freaking jackets. These are the things that's not girly but I like it. My aesthetic is I don't put beauty I don't like something that's like made well made I like something rough I like something dangerous I like something that's distant from other people like I'm wearing the jacket and you feel I am distant from you I like to create a little shell for me to look dangerous and hardworking and on the ground that's basically a worker's aesthetics here in the London it's also a place full of construction sites and construction workers and for construction sites there are interesting little details like the scaffolding or the rubbers surrounding the scaffolding and the zipper ties and all the little things it's just intriguing to looking at it because people who are working in a higher altitude like building houses these type of workers they were really high like in the altitude level but they were pretty low in the social hierarchy you know so what's the borderline of that i work in high places but in reality i was i was like in the middle like in the bottom of the worker working people working class so what's the real borderline between people and people and status and what's the borderline between cargo wear and fashionable pieces like the real cargo wear we see it people wearing all the time they have dirt but we are creating 
like a painted pants that's in a cargo pants type of silhouette and we sell it for like 50 hundred so what what about it like hmm, why there are so many similar things but in a very distinct spectrum what's the borderline who set those borderlines this is what i'm trying to say this is my deepest little thinking in my mind but i don't think my closing is like that deep this is what i think but what i come up with is another story let's get into the design part <laughs> hello guys <sighs> I'm准备即将到来的这个外设 为什么呀？我现在在辅料店，怎么更不要买啥？就瞎买。我上午去的那个trimming <笑> 然后我尽量想少拿点东西然后我不知道为什么还有新型化妆就不知道为什么你懂吧然后就是要穿的那种黑不溜溜的有一种就是你要做的东西是白的但是你就要穿黑的那种感觉就是那种反抗精神就是一
but basically the critique is on friday and that's like the last week of making your final garments we only have one week making your final garments and then it's basically we have an order according to your name and i am the last one and then we go up there one by one showing our work to the whole class and three professors you have 10 minutes to explain what's your inspiration how you come up with your design and then what is your final result how you feeling about it is there a specific thing you want to say just basically explain why you make your clothes that way and there are three professors one is mark who is like a pattern maker who's like in charge of our pattern and the second one ray he is the course leader of our pathway fashion design marketing and there's stephanie she's like the 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 most crazy i mean she's kind of intense well she's like a senior professor i guess and they just gonna sit there and the whole class sits surrounded and then we show up we go there show our work tell us about your design and then well i think my critique is pretty chill because i'm like the last one the first one we started around like 10 a.m in the morning and i am the last one closing it so it's around like 4 p.m at the time and then I just go up there, show them my mood board, show them everything, the research, and then the structure. And they pretty like it. And I think one of the highlights in the critique is like later that day, Stephanie posts some of the Instagram or photos about the student work she saw like on that day. And then I was one of them in the in a story highlight, in a story. She posted a story of my clothes. And I mean I guess that she only picks a few of her favorite I guess but that's pretty fun you can see your professors actually like appreciating your work but I think everyone has their own design style so it's fine it's chill at least I finish it the deadline that I gave to myself is on Friday so I have to finish everything on that Friday after that Friday I am even though we still have two weeks before the show but I am completely done with the white show three weeks that's it i'm not gonna touch my garments i could do a little small little fix and then prepare the shoes and stuff but i didn't do anything else i didn't create a huge structure or whatever i'm i'm done by that friday after the crit and i feel pretty good yeah and that's like the end of my three week chaos creating the white show <laughs>这个我这个房间里的地上 Okay, today is the Y show and this is my look. It's not about me, it's about um the later shows, but I'm still like getting ready for it and it's just fucking fun I guess. I'm just wearing a t-shirt that I made that has my print on it and then my look is like this. Let's go to the let's go to the show. Hey, Mega, you mean that guy show me? I want to see the inside. Wait, what? What are you most excited about for the Y show? What? 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 王姐，我是小皮。哦，我是小史。哦，One word describe this white show. The whole process. Why? <laughs> Obviously. What about you? Pain. Yeah. Pain. What about you? Different um, word. <laughs> crazy. Crazy. Okay. Let's see. 
Yeah. I wish, I wish if you said three words, I would mm -hmm. say easy, breezy, and beautiful. Mm -hmm. But that would be a lie. <laughs> I just like, I've always wanted to say those words like you know what. But yeah, it was, it's been crazy. Yeah. Okay. But we've, we've made it, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's over. It's out of our hands. Yes. Which is um, cold face. Okay. So actually, everyone, <laughs> this is the backstage. Not, the, not really like a backstage, but are you are you ready? <laughs> I'm very ready. <laughs> you want to be in my YouTube? Yeah, crazy shit. Uh, what what you're thinking right now? I'm thinking. I think we're ready. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Yeah. That's actually, that's none of my. I have to do. Yeah. My model. Yeah. How cute! Ah. Now what's the mood? Now it's a whole thing. It's a complete disaster. Because he has his long hair and he doesn't have it. I think this is quite suitable for you, honestly. You're so cute. Okay, giving. Yeah, you're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess this. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, honestly. 我觉得这样一半挺好的，真的。哎，真的。来姐 ，say hello。最喜欢刚刚才这样。Amazing， 哇哦。哈哈哈嗯，谢谢大家 so much for watching you reaching the end of my whole Y show process. And here is my final conclusion about the Y show. Coming to CSM for two months, it's really quick. The time flies every day. I for the whole month of creating Y project, I literally don't know how I survive. That's pretty much the overall thought. I was able to see and come here to actually see the environment and the whole ambiance, I guess, of CSM, not just looking at through our phone via Instagram. Cause we have like three weeks of creating this Y show and the first week, the first week of brainstorm, everyone in our class start choosing something special material to structure their garments. Someone was using rubber, someone was using hula hoops, someone using like pipes. Basically, you can tell we all have a different vision and different approach to create or develop our design, and then starting from a different material path, and then we further on structure and structuring the garment for this white show. I specifically、um, ruled myself of not using boning, not using wire. Not creating something like a sculpture or huge beyond the clothes. Like I could have something of normal shape, but I don't want to create like a huge stiff structure, just like a structure thing that's like beyond clothes. I'm, I'm pretty clear that I like cargos. I was playing with a different type of form of cargos, I guess, or taking inspiration from cargos, 
and I know my hands can actually function, I was able to create a puffer like because puffer is my new thing. Puffer and jacket is my, my new thing. And I was able to do it. And coming to CSM, the whole environment, I really, the one thing I really like about CSM is the everyone you can tell, everyone is putting 100% or 120% of their effort into a project. Like, they're probably, sometimes you could see students are not working harsh, harsh, but overall everyone, I mean, everyone is working very hard to create this white project. The runway, before the runway, I know students are like not sleeping, working on their stuff just to create for the show. For that, for that like 10 seconds catwalk for the show and that's the dedication that's like the ground fundamental level of fashion everyone you pour their your heart out you think less just to finish your project just to create your vision into real life and that's what i really like about csm and it's like an oyster that you are pretty protected you are able to create whatever you want in this ground it's just like our name it's a playground for the for this year the white show everyone we're part of it we're playing we're just having fun with our hands and creating something the world haven't seen before i guess and that's a truly grateful experience of csm and london and i i'm really happy that i could be here i could experience csm in my fashion student years um, probably considering having a graduate program, I don't know, but this is what I got. Okay, and that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe to our channel. Your likes and your comments are really mean so much for me, and you guys really pushes me working on videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in New York. That's the end of my London trip. I know I didn't like film that much, but that's the end of CSM and London trip. I'll see you guys in New York. Have a wonderful holiday. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I'll see you guys in 2023. That's crazy. Well, bye.